This is an example of the application builder, the 360 degree um, capability I mentioned earlier. In this particular case, you know, we have search capability, we have um, data that we've extracted from other Watson capabilities. So one of the things we can do is we can take the search capability results, feed it to other cognitive systems with uh, capabilities within the Watson portfolio, return those results and display them within the application builder. Uh, in this particular example, we're also connecting to a, a CRM system and an email system. So you can have data not only from your search, but from third-party systems as well. Now, this is a fairly standard screen. I've customized it a little bit. Uh, you notice I've got you know, a kind of a, a sample of the actual text and a couple of index pieces of data, the type, person, date. Uh, I, in this case, I've added the ability to add and edit tags or edit comments and also to be able to refine the uh, data by source. If I just want to see data that from this knowledge source, I can click on that. If I want everything, I just... By the way, I have Watson Explorer running on my laptop, so I, sometimes it may be a little bit slow. <laughs> um, so, I, you know, and there's many other customizations I can add to it. Um, Go ahead and do a sample search. Yeah, nothing for all of you who have been using GSA. You know, there's not a lot of very unique things. I'm sure there's a lot of what's been done being done on the basic search that's similar to what you could do within a GSA environment, and some things that are unique, like the ability to create custom annotators and create custom metadata. So this is just a sample. But if we go then. This is a sample of a very simple uh, application builder screen. So basically what I'm showing here is the same information that I showed in the default search screen. But in this case, I've done a couple of things, including you know, pulling out person names so that if I want to refine by that, I can just easily click on that and get the uh, results that are only focused on that. And then the other thing, this featured result, one of the things that I've done with this particular application is I'm taking the results of a search and passing those results off to a Watson service called Natural Language Classifier, which looks at the information and then puts it into a classification bucket and then I take the, that information comes back into the search application and I can use that to refine the results that come back to give you the top, to give the user the top answer. So for example, when I asked who built Fort Necessity, I get a variety of different answers using the standard search. When I put it into this application builder function, and this may take a second because again, it's running on my laptop, what I'll get back is actually the wrong answer. <laughs> this should be George Washington. Um, but what it does is it comes back and says, okay, you're asking me, you know, the intent of what you're asking is about a person. Here's the answer, what I think is available based on the information that you gave, and then here's all the rest of the search results. Though this is an incorrect answer in this case, that should be George Washington is the person who actually built this, not Castle. So I'll have to figure that one out. But what I wanted to be able to demonstrate here is the connection between the application builder and a third-party system. So you can interface you know, other Watson technologies into an application or third-party systems. And you don't have to write the entire program for these different widgets. We give you that capability. So it's a drag and drop of um, different widgets 
some that get created automatically based on the, uh, the search capabilities that you're doing and the different uh, parts of the search collection. Yeah. Jim, yeah. I think it's, it's really good to point out that um, while the, uh, the person in this case came up incorrect, uh, that's a kind of a training set issue, that the, the difference between like a kind of legacy enterprise search system and what App Builder does is it through the, the, the query processor and pipeline you did natural language processing on the query. You understood that it understood that the word for and who and built and necessity being another noun. And the intent is is that instead of taking tokens, doing doing a select star where matching tokens, there is a there is actually some uh, processing here that uh, goes beyond the literal keywords, the literal tokens that, that were entered. Agreed. So that's all I wanted to do from a demonstration for there. I'm going to go back to the presentation. Okay.